So let's start with our number three gaming news. And I will admit, this is coming from a personal standpoint. <laughs> uh, I love NBA 2K games. I've never really purchased uh, their microtransactions or anything like that. Uh, that has nothing to do with this. But uh, just to let you know, I am an NBA 2K fan. And EA's answer to NBA 2K, NBA Live, uh, is, um, in a word, a mess. Uh, <laughs> I remember playing the demos for both uh, Live 18 and 19. Boy, howdy, they were messes. Yeah. Now, we're hearing that NBA Live 20 is actually delayed to late 2019. Hmm. This is interesting in a couple different things. Now, I know you're hearing this like, oh, Adam, you're talking about a basketball game. Now, this was actually, I think, in my opinion, is going to be the future of sports titles, right? Hmm. So, look at my notes right here. Uh, NBA Live late 2019. EA actually quietly delayed Live uh, 20. This isn't coming out to the public. This is actually during a... Um, what was it called? An earnings report to investors. And this is on a PowerPoint slide about uh, NBA Live 20. Uh, and it said to invest uh, investors that the release will be between October 1st and December uh, 31st. Now, Polygon reached out to EA and they actually had this to say. I just want to pull up the quote really quick, but I can't find it. All right. <laughs> I have the article in front of me, um, but I wrote in my notes. We're planning a different approach to NBA Live this year, and we have more to share later on in the quarter to come. You found it. Wow. All right. So the quote is, we're planning a different approach to NBA Live this year, and we'll have more to share in the quarter ahead. Now, why is this interesting? What's interesting about this is that what is EA doing? They're really harping on free to play. They're really harping on microtransactions they're really harping on now this is coming from an earnings report to investors what i'm seeing about this is that they're delaying it mm -hmm. why are they delaying it why are they saying this to investors why are they not saying this to the public why did they say to polygon uh that we're planning a different approach to nba live this year my theory now this might be also in the article and I might have missed it. No, they didn't say it. But my thought is that NBA Live 20 will become free to play. Mm. It's going to be the first sports game, the first, first major sports game uh, to become truly free to play. And we'll update it like what you see on Siege or what you see like on Apex Legends. And this is a big moment just because... This is something that sports fans wanted for mm -hmm. a while. I am sick of buying another $60 game yeah. for the same game every year. Yes, I will admit I'm a chump when <laughs> buying NBA 2K. I understand. So if this were to be a free-to-play, yeah. would you be more willing to buy nba live as opposed to 2k well that's the thing if it's free to play of course i'm willing to play it right well just because you're you every time you play it you're never that big of a fan of it it's yeah. not really most people's cup of tea most yeah most players that i understand choose 2k over live which no, might right. be their reasoning for possibly making it free to play mm -hmm. to get more people attracted to it so. no that's the thing i i think that's I think this will attract players to NBA Live because I think this is going to be an experiment towards other sports titles, yeah. right? Because, Possibly. yeah, because nobody really cares about NBA Live. If you pay attention to the pricing of NBA Live, first of all, they put it out for $40, not $60. They always put it out for $40. And whenever you see on sale, you see on sale for $3. They're practically giving it away. It might be because it's terrible. It's awful. Like, it's <laughs> so bad. Um, Comparably to 2K, even if 2K didn't exist, it's a bad game. Now, I think they've, they're they just going to cut their losses, make it free-to-play with free-to-play microtransactions, and just see where it goes and see the fan response. Because to me personally, if it's free, 
Yeah, totally. I'll yeah. I'll totally play it's it. It's worth giving it a try if it's free as compared to sixty dollars that you pay for two K. Exactly. It, it's totally worth playing if it's free, and we'll see where it goes. Like maybe if it goes well, they'll probably do NHL next because NHL is also um it, it's also a game that doesn't really have a lot of uh fans mm-hmm. or or a lot of buyers. So if NBA does well, they'll move on to NHL. And then they'll see Madden, and then finally we'll see for FIFA. Yeah. If it all goes well for all the franchises. So this is pretty cool news uh, to me personally, but uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, we'll see as time goes on. But uh, I'm thinking that on October, you're going to see an announcement from EA that NBA Live will be free to play. 